Hi guys, it's Gaz here, Aki Rookie, and welcome to my Saturday vlog. Wee! Sorry this is not Friday, but Friday, basically yesterday, I had to drive from Manchester to here, and I went straight to a gig, and by the time afterwards, it was like already Saturday anyway, so I thought, well, let's not do it, and then I ended up, was it, um, sleeping most of the day, so the reason why this is so late. So let's start where we left off. The last time you saw me, I was in a hotel in Manchester. I spent all of all week down Manchester. It, it was officially 11 days between when I left my flat to when I walked through my flat again. So 11 days away from home for work. Although there was the weekend, obviously, of gigs, which I'm going to tell you about. So the first night, I obviously moved hotels from the hotel that work paid for to the hotel I paid for. Now, I could tell the complete difference of price. Both the same chain of hotel, but the room I paid for and the room that work paid for are completely different. Like, the one that work paid for is a lot nicer. It's a lot better room. I'm not saying the room wasn't that bad. It's actually quite, quite nice for the ones I normally book for myself. A lot more money involved in it as well. But, yeah, yeah. Um, the one thing I will say, though, there was a fan that was just outside my room that I could hear all going all night long I struggled to sleep uh, really 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 badly and then I went to breakfast the next day in that hotel and I felt really interested because I would go and stuff I always go with it. I'm actually wearing some normally different I'm actually wearing a rugby top look you know you can tell I'm hungover I was hungover this morning or this afternoon or whenever I got up anyway because I'm wearing rugby top. Um, we'll get to that in a second anyway. I'm jumping ahead a lot. i got to go through my week. You go through the list. You all know what's happening. Right. So I felt underdressed because I basically go in my band t-shirt and jeans. And everyone down there was called kind of like, you know, smart casual. I was like, eee. It's what the, shirt, what the dress code usually is. But it's never really been a problem anywhere I've been. So I felt kind of underdressed when I was at breakfast. It was okay. Um... I ended up, though, was it um, working most of the weekend? Because obviously I didn't want to be down there Friday, like I said, this week and just gone. Or Friday yesterday. But I had to because I need to get worked done. I ended up working through the weekend, so I sat there with my laptop in my room just going blah, 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 blah. So yeah, the reason why there's been no videos as yet, because I haven't had a chance because I've not been here, I've not been able to record any. Um, and was it, I then obviously, after doing all that work, I then went to the gig on Saturday, which was the Lepers gig, and on my way there, I passed through this street, and literally every building on the other side was curry house, curry, curry house, like a curry house smile, really great, I wish I'd stopped there for food, but I didn't have time. Um, it was good though at the Leopards gig, it was good to see the guys from Leopards and the girl from Leopards, and it was also good to see the other bands, it was also a chance for me to catch up with some old friends in bands, and some f old friends that are not in bands, but it was good just to be there and say hi to everyone, it was really good. Um, the next day, was it down on breakfast, there was a table next to me, I was hearing them having a conversation, and they were talking about this comedian, Jim Carley, I think, who the hell is this Jim Carley? I, it then dawned on me who they were talking about when they started talking about the films he was in. It was Jim Carrey. And he was like, "What, Jim Carrey? What, if Jim Carrey? How can you, how can you get that name so wrong?" He was just, and I was struggling then not to laugh when I realised too. I was sat there eating my breakfast, going, trying not to laugh and trying to eat and trying not to spit the food out everywhere. Really good. So yeah, so that, that was right. And then that Sunday, I drove all the way to Derby to to go and see another gig. Um, I went and see um, a band called Colt 45 and the guys for four really like really good guys as well really good band so I saw, saw them um, I enjoyed I enjoyed that gig but then obviously I have to drive back afterwards and I'm getting old I think because I'm not used to this driving after gigs also means I couldn't drink you know as well but hey um, so yeah so it, it, it was really weird and after that gig, then I went to a gig. In, well, the next day, then I went. Obviously, went to work. I left. I should really have stayed at work and worked longer, but I left work on time and I headed into Manchester in my work clothes. I went to another gig, and it was really weird being at the gig because I was in the gig with my shirt and tie and everything, and it was like I felt awkward. I felt uncomfortable throughout the whole gig, to be honest with you, because I wasn't what I would call my armour, which is a band T-shirt, basically, you know, and the wristbands. Although I'm sort of start leaning away from wearing them because you know, they get too much at some times and start cutting into my wrist so yeah but anyway you know without that sort of armor on I kind of feel a bit unnervy and a bit on edge so it was kind of a bit weird um but it was really really good to see was it um some see some more friends there at that gig it was it was amazing I really enjoyed it and I felt you know it felt good in that respect but just I felt really awkward being there in my shirt and tie really weird um <sighs> On the way back from that gig, I saw the cutest thing ever, right? 
There was this couple that got on the metro because I got I got to get the metro from where my hotel was to the city centre of Manchester. So on the way back, I saw this cutest thing. There was this couple that was on the on the train, and obviously they were necking all the way to the stop. But he got off the st- stop first, and obviously he like walked along the train waving as it. But that wasn't the cute thing. The cute thing was that she got a text message as soon as as soon as he was out of sight from her from him and you could tell it was from him because the way her face lit up and the way she went and it's like it was like seeing actual love you know and it warms my heart to see that you know i shouldn't have been spying on them i suppose in the respect it was but it was such the cutest thing i've ever seen such an amazing thing you know and it just warms my heart to know that love is out there like that and it's just amazing to see um Oh, <laughs> on the flip side of that story, um, the next day I was coming into my hotel late because I'd been working late, and there was a lot of people queuing up to reception to check in. So I phoned this woman who was going, who was basically, who was like, just the crowd was splitting. And I thought, yeah, just follow her, you know, play some LA football, go get herself a block and head to the end zone. So I was following behind her, and she gets to the sort of, and then this guy who's at the counter, and then she swings her back, and I mean swings her back, she swings her back and go, bang, and this guy's back. I thought, oh, Fuck! Lots of stories run through my mind in a, in a couple of seconds. Like, is, is this guy having an affair on her? Was it? And that's his wife, and he's booking the hotel. Was it? Has he done something in the past to her? All the, and and then he turned on, oh, and give her a hug. Basically, it was a friendly tap. It was a complete whack. You know, they were like old friends hadn't seen each other in ages. <laughs> the way they were talking, it was just like, oh wow, you know. Um, there's something I also want to talk about, which I. Facebook message out, I think, earlier this week. Um, yeah, I think I did. Um, basically, it's about the cover that music it gets in the press these days. Don't get me wrong, right? I love listening to cover. In fact, what I'm going to do, because I'm at my computer rather than... I'm going to see if I can pull up the story on my computer screen, that I, the tweet I made, or the Facebook message I did. On my profile, let's scroll down. <laughs> Do 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 do. Rent, rent, rent. Trying to find the rant I had. Well, I took a lot. Of, I put a lot of crap on my Facebook. It's surprising. Uh, I'm nearly there. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Sorry. As you know, with these vlogs, I don't edit them. It's just basically start to finish, so you're going to get whatever you get. So you can just see me looking at a computer screen. You can see me. I can't see you. Mm, let's see. There we go. Okay. Here's a rant. If anyone else gets... Is it... Rant time. Is anyone else getting fed up with reading stories about Band X have done a YouTube cover of a pop rubbish Band Y song? Uh, don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with a band doing a cover song. And I think it's good if a band puts a cover song in their life sh- sh- to show new fans something that they can relate to, something obviously they've heard in music. Um, just as long as when the set set isn't full of cover songs, I don't like going to see bands that are just doing a set of cover songs. But we have new stories about new bands and new music, you know. I swear to God, if <laughs> I'll lose my shit if I read another story about uh, some band covering Justin Bieber's Sorry. Yeah, so basically what I was trying to say there was basically... <laughs> There's so many bands out there, there's so many great songs out there that just aren't getting covered in the in the the top music press. And they're rather covering um band Y doing a cover song of Justin Bieber's Sorry or something like that. Don't get me wrong, right? I like cover songs. I like the live lounge um was it uh, cover songs that, that you hear on Radio One. You know? I like it when I hear a band doing it, but I think the amount of column inches devoted to someone like against the current doing a cover of justin bieber sorry i'm sorry I'm, I'm, not, I'm not picking them out as a particular band but they do do a lot of covers um you know when there's so much other new music out there that that could be given that you know let's not talk about against the current um cover song let's talk about press amico's new track let's talk about foe's new track let's talk about um we denies new track you know smaller bands you know you know let's talk about them let's talk about their tours let's talk about their live shows you know put some comments to that instead of to listen another cover song <sighs> right okay rant over right don't get me wrong i like listening to band cover songs <laughs> i'll let that be said it's just that i feel it's covered too much in the media when they j- could just cover you know stuff about new bands 
You know, it's like the whole thing, you know, a band posts about a tour, nothing. Memes. <sighs> seen the SpongeBob thing? I'm sure you all have. You're all into your know, dank memes. Um, something that has happened, though, is this phone, this iPhone 4. Yes, I'm reading my notes off my iPhone 4. I still have a 4S, and that's always... I have always had a 4S for God knows how long. Um, it stopped connecting to some Wi-Fi hotspots. It'll connect sometimes and it won't connect. I think it's because everything's now going 4G and this is still a 3G. So I think I'm having trouble there. Um, really does, um, really does um, get to me. Um, and we've got two more things to talk about and then we'll get to the end of the week, which is probably what you're all listening for. Um, the <coughs> Excuse me. The... Um, the press releases I do, obviously, because I write for Alt Corner, um, I get I'm like behind the curve on, on all those news stories I do. Because if I wait for the pre- actual press release, I'm behind. I think I might just do what I I know a lot of others are doing is that someone gets an exclusive and they put that out, and then they're almost copying it word for word and putting that in. Either that, or when they do the circulars of emails, that I'm too far down the list because it's definitely not alphabetical order because it'd be an Alt Corner IP at the top, um, and one of the things is the reason why I was down in Manchester is I needed to get a job job done for the work I do, um, basically, and I'm failing at actually at my real time, my normal time job, first time ever I'm being failing at it because I'm just not doing it. I'm just my I just don't have the determination. I need to sort that out. I need to really, really get that sorted out and get things going. And then the other thing is. Friday, obviously, I finished work. I was hoping to finish by half three because that would have got me here to Man to Glasgow from Manchester. They're about three and a half hours, so that would be seven o'clock, and I made the show. In the end, I didn't get, I didn't leave until five, and by the time I got got here and everything, it was about quarter to nine when I got to the cat house, which means I only got to see Escape the Fate. So I missed New Year's Day, which is the fifth time I've now missed them trying to see them. At least I got to this show, but it's five times now I've missed them. Um, I didn't get to see Fields Vampire Kills again, which I'm gutted about, and I didn't get to see um, Like a Storm, I think it was the other band. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, it was it was really bad. But I got to talk, talk to them and hang out with them after the gig. Basically, um, I was basically I had some I met some friends there, um, Andrew and his friends, and we were hanging out, which was which was great. I then run into a another friend of mine. Uh, who was in a band, who was actually on the tour with said bands, who was uh, looking after one of them. So so um, I ran into him, we started chatting, and then he introduced me to all all that group, you know, as if I was just a normal person, and then, you know, like, play a call, play a call, play a call. But I was, like, talking to them, having drinks with them, singing songs, I mean, singing Black Parade. <laughs> all that, what can say, I think my life is complete after that moment. So, though I didn't get... To um, see them all play, I did get to, did get to hang out with them, talk to them, and just generally be like it was like a normal thing, which was great. And I thank you for that, my good man, for introducing me to them all. Um, so I know now. Next time New Year, New Year's Day, come to the UK for a tour. I'm going to book three days of work: the day before the gig, the day of the gig, and the day after the gig to make sure I do not miss it, so I actually get to see them play live. I don't care where is that gig maybe even it's like slam dunk download or something like that although i don't think they'll be back there this year but it'd be really good to see them play and i can't wait for it um yeah this this video's gone a lot longer than i thought it was going to go on so yeah it's saturday now um i'm going to try to record some of my videos it's actually saturday evening so yeah it's kind of really late so i'm gonna get on recording my videos uh i hope you guys have had an awesome week because mine was been Really good at the start, really shitty in the middle, really good at the end. <laughs> so, um, as always, have fun. Yeah,